Welcome everyone to the Great War Western Front developed by Petroglyph, basically Westwood Studios, the people who left EA, founded their own companies and continued developing strategy games. They've made a bunch of games over the years, some great, some not so great. Empire at War is obviously the biggest game that they've ever made as an independent company, though of course they also worked on Red Alert and before that on the Dune series of games. In particular for me, I started playing video games, one of the first games I remember playing is Dune 2 by Westwood. That's where I started playing video games, or so strategy games. I've been in love with a lot of the games that these guys have made over the years, so of course I was going to play this one. A World War I Western Front game focused on trench warfare. It's going to be brutal, and I'm not quite sure that it's going to be something easy enough to deal with. By the way, I'm going to jump into a historical battle. You do have, of course, campaigns. You do have a tutorial campaign as the United States, and then you have, of course, the Allied Nations and the Central Powers. But I'm going to start with a historical battle. You have several of them uh, over here. You have, what, six of them? Some as the Allies, some as the Germans uh, during the course of the game. I'm going to start with the Second Battle of Ypres. Considered a high tactical value target. And it's fought from April to May. Don't be surprised. If you don't know much about World War I, this is actually part of how the war was fought. It's pretty normal in terms of how the war is fought, actually, during World War I. There are a lot of battles that lasted a very, very long time. But anyway... Let's go for it. I'm going to jump in on Elite Difficulty. Jumping in a game like this that is actually fairly unique from what I've seen. I just played the um, tutorial mission. I actually tried this mission. I got my ass handed to me. But there's certainly some lessons. In most strategy games, you know, you uh, take your troops, you attack against the enemy. That's not going to work in a World War One game. You need to suppress the enemy. You need to deal with machine guns. You need to deal with artillery. There's a lot of moving parts when it comes to a game like this. But... Let's get into it. <laughs> Has difficulty from the very start of it. This is going to go down brilliantly, or it might end in a steaming pile. We'll see. Now, I have to say that I appreciate the fact that the developers have a streamer mode where the licensed music uh, that, ha that has copyright is actually uh, muted. Or it just doesn't play in the first place. Really appreciate that as a YouTuber. There's so many games I've played over the years where you obviously want to play with music. It adds ambience and all that, but you don't want to get the copyright content ID match. But anyway, let's get started. Frustrated with the persistent stalemate against the French lines, Germany decided to experiment with a new tactic. On April 22, 1915, they opened up canisters and released 168 tons of chlorine gas onto the battlefield, which crept across no man's land into the Allied trenches the first major use of chemical weapons on the Western Front. Confusion was followed by chaos and panic. To quote Colonel Henri Mordac, Haggard, the rubber coats thrown off or open wide. Their scarves pulled off, running like madmen, directionless, shouting for water, spitting blood. Some even rolling on the ground, making desperate efforts to breathe. The gas caused nearly 3,000 casualties, including approximately 1,400 deaths, in very little time. The chaos caused the lines to buckle, leaving a massive gap. It was up to the newly arrived Canadian forces to try and fill the hole and push the Germans back. Oh yes, the brilliant Canadian forces. Well, I certainly don't dispute Can the Canadian armed forces and their bravery during both world wars. I think that a lot of these games, or actually not just games, media in general, that praises the Canadians in both world wars shouldn't ignore just what was happening back at home in terms of the conscription crises that were happening with Canada. Basically, there were a bunch of Canadians that wanted to fight, but there were also a bunch of Canadians that were to be quite blunt about it, cowards about it in both world wars. And it was a major issue for Canada. But anyway, that 
little historical tidbit aside, the Canadians were certainly very brave in battle. They showed it time and time and time again. Our orders are clear are to protect this ridge. Command expects the German assault and Canadian reinforcements are en route. We are to provide support to the French army by filling holes in the line. Keep an eye out uh, for enemy movement. There aren't a lot of French forces over here on this sector of the battlefield, which Attention. is likely going to cause issues. Now, I can't even move my guys over here, sadly enough, in pre-deployment. So there's some French forces here. But the line is thinly manned and poorly defended. So that's going to be something of an issue, especially once you start getting in the chlorine. We do have a decent amount of artillery, four units of artillery from the very start. A couple of machine guns defending them. But the four lines are pretty poorly defended. So let's begin. You cannot wage war with sentimentality. The more ruthless war is conducted, the more merciful it is, in fact, for it finishes the war sooner. A sentiment I could agree with, uh, that certainly wasn't the case in World War I, though. Alright, so the French are raising the balloons. I don't actually control the French forces. I'm only in command of the Canadian forces in this particular battle. It's going to be a rough one. And there are the bunkers from which... Poison gas is going to be spewed across no man's land. Oh, these guys are finished. I wish I could retreat them, really. It's just like, you know what's happening. You know what's coming. And it's like, you just we can only orders. sit and watch. Okay, let's um, Get moving. Take let's move these positions. guys, one have of these units, orders. over here. And then the other unit to defend point A. We're going to move them in column. So they'll have different uh, formations over here. So yeah, they've got some kind of poison gas. Oh, I actually can. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get these guys. Uh, some of these guys I can control. We're, no, I can't actually control any of them. Damn. Um, all right. So the poison gas can't last forever. So the gas attack wiped out most of the French, uh, French infantry. Yeah, that's going to hurt a lot. So I need to hold on until reinforcements arrive. I do have a bunker there. Oh, damn it. We're going to lose eight. <laughs> that is going to be an unfortunate situation over there. We can, like, I think the bunkers here can protect them against the poison gas. The artillery is starting to come in. Do we have... Yes, we do. One of the things I would say is probably needed free badly in this um, right here is just the ability to uh, shoot. Okay. Let's try uh, to you have a key bind, by the way. Okay, they should be able to hold them. The Canadian Stand troops that did fight were actually tough bastards. So, all right, those guys are going to get wiped out. We're going to lose a... Should have deployed both of them over here. We do have more artillery. Uh, that is going to be a pretty pre unpleasant situation, really. Okay. Well, those guys were wiped out. That's going to be an unpleasant situation. Alright, the machine guns should be able to deal with that, but I could have held them off in at least one sector. Okay. Well, we do still have those machine guns, but they're coming in in the woods, so those woods are going to provide them some support. Alright, the machine guns did their job there. Kill 25 German infantry. Yeah, this is going to be a bloodbath <laughs> if you haven't realized it. Okay. Reinforcements report right, so we got reinforcements coming in. We're going to have to take Ready down back step. point A. Ready for fire orders. Okay, let's move. Attention. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Reinforcements ready. We have arrived and await orders. Right, so I called in the reinforcements. Let's get some. Alright. We're gonna need to deal with that situation over there. Where are they moving? Where are they moving? 
gonna move slowly. Our line here is still being held, but we're gonna need some troops. The artillery bombardment that I just ordered should be sufficient. We do have 566 supply, but we don't have the guns. Um, Suppress at that location. Fire on that position. Ready yourself. Position. All right, let's move, 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 move. Ready on the line. Establishing position. Move up. We have new orders. On the line. We have new orders. Now they're going to keep hitting us with. This is a rough one. Because unit control feels a bit finicky, I gotta say. Alright, let's, um, I'm gonna keep suppressing those guys. Over there, until we can recapture that situation. We do have a limitation in terms of population cap, so we're basically going to be in a position where we have to... Uh, mass our troops on a certain section of the battlefield. The grenades should be able to deal with these guys. We're capturing this point back, we and then we'll take... I'll leave maybe one unit. Um, Ready okay, we got some units back. Attention. And we got our population back under control. Looks like we're late to the party. Alright, so these guys, all here. of these guys, we have all of them. We need to go. We hold this are going to start Stay moving here. Take I'll put some guys the over the here. Ready, we boys. got some more artillery. Ready I think I'll leave another step. unit to man. No, Attention. I'll actually leave them position. over here. Both these. The piece of so those bunkers, those reinforced bunkers, should be able Stand to hold orders. back On the, the line, tide. And then we move, keep moving there. Okay, let's raise the observation balloons and call in some air support when we get it. Oh, they're hitting me with artillery. Life is not precious in World War One. Try and advance there. We have new orders. Load them up. Suppression fire order. Okay, those guns Set are not going to be able to hit there, but up. let's try and Stand suppress them orders. all the same. That should do the trick. Going to call in more raiders. We surrender yourselves oh, here. Got wiped out. Raise the white flag. Reporting for duty. Well, so much for the great Canadian onslaught there. Suppress the machine guns there. Okay, the gas is coming in, so these guys should be fine. So we get, we can see the gas situation there. Damn. Reporting for duty. Get out now. Ready for Take positions. Equipe. Recharge. Save yourselves. New orders incoming. Get in position. It's an absolute bloodbath. Oh, okay. On the double now. I know advancing with column is not the wisest He's idea, but um. Let's try and suppress that artillery orders. using suppression barrage order. Prepare vous, soldat. We have this new orders. This position is ours. So we need to take those points within 12 minutes. We <laughs> At this rate, orders. we're gonna take nothing. Prepare vous à recevoir les ordres de tir. Les coordonnées pour le barrage. Use that precision barrage. As I said, life is cheap. Need to keep hitting those guys over there with as much artillery as we 
possibly can. I'm going to spread these guys out, actually. Let's just advance as quickly as we can. Trying to ick that trench. Put pressure on them. Maybe I should try and put some pressure here, because there's a lot of units in those bunkers. Like, there's probably some four units there. Alright, the Canadians are marching onward to their glorious deaths, unfortunately. Alright, gas incoming. We're gonna pull these guys back. Coming chlorine. So these guys are gonna hold over here. I'm gonna send. Oh, they got troops. Damn it. Um. So one precision strike there. One, one artillery strike here. The troops I have in the bunker should be able to handle that situation. The problem is the machine gun that they have here is just causing me a lot of trouble. We have new orders. Get moving. Can you suppress it, or am I going to have to do this on my own? Stand by for orders. Ready yourselves. Let's try and deal with that situation. Let me get these guys out. Oh, there were actually no troops there. Let's send them in the trench. Okay. So chlorine gas in one minute. Should be able to um, we need to, go. to deal with that situation. Anything in the air is a target. We have new On orders. Move out. Equipe. Okay. Préparez un barrage Tirez total. Toute l'artillerie. Préparez-vous. Préparez-vous. On a nos cibles. Right, we're gonna hit those trenches with as much artillery as we possibly can get. Alright, they got units over here. So these guys have made it. Let's call in more troops. Alright, that's the first trench. the first gas pocket. Okay. That will do it. And that will give us the opening we need in order to advance on the rest of the enemy. Though they did actually take more damage. That, that, that's probably because these guys are not elite troops, unfortunately. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <sighs> The chlorine is not heading in my direction here, so I'm gonna withdraw, try and withdraw it at any rate. Let's go with more bombardment. The situation here is pretty stable. Given my population situation, those damn troops in the trees. Load them up, load for suppressing barrage. Ready yourselves. Oh, the chlorine just wiped them out, unfortunately. What's the timer? Throw a lot of things at the problem over here. Okay, that's done. Fire, 
Right, the trench is taken over there. Put more artillery support uh, on there, because I know the enemy is down there. Okay, so that should deal with that situation. The machine gun here is vulnerable. So chlorine gas inbound. We, we do need to clear more of these trenches out. There's Stand another one there. I want to occupy orders. it. We're on the far step. Ready yourselves. Let's pressure these guys over here with some artillery. We call the Germans bluff. We have new orders. We need to go. Pick your targets. We have new orders. Stand by for orders. Move out. Attention. We're moving. Now it really we should withdraw orders. these uh, the the wounded units. We have new orders. Full okay, we got C. Ready yourself. Now we need X. Y is probably beyond our means. Attention. Get in position. But they do have oh, them. We have new orders. Right. So chlorine gas has we been dealt with. Here, now what I need is balloons over here. Looks like we're Stand by we need to hold this position. Bomber. <clears throat> we need artillery. We need to close to the front in order to advance here. That should put pressure on them. Now they got reinforcements coming in. They also have a fairly formidable line here. What I think I will do, we do have this machine gun, so I think what I'll do is just put my troops here. Stand by Clear out this we trench. This they do have troops incoming. Reporting for duty. I'm Ready going yourself. to take these guys over We're here. Moving. March them through the woods. Down. Oh Attention. god. <laughs> oh dear. I just marched my guys to their demise, unfortunately. Okay. There's a machine gun there, but uh, thankfully... We have new orders. Get moving. Ready for fire Low orders. Light suppression shows them up. That is going to be a rough one. Reinforcements reporting. Établissez les positions et coordonnez-vous le barrage. Équipe, rétablissez le barrage. Préparez-vous aux soldats. Préparez un barrage. Who's that? Reinforcements ready. It's not the question of supplies, it's a question of just pop cap. Okay. Well, mistakes were made. Ready yourself. Fire and well. Attention. Move out. Okay, they've fallen back. We have new orders. Get moving. We have new orders. We surrender. Okay. Stand by for orders. The brass wants this piece of gravel now. Establishing the position. Vérifiez les coordonnées pour Équipe. le barrage. Prêt. On a nos cibles. Ready or move out. Charge. Raise the white Attention. flag. Attention. Ready on the line. Right. Put they should we have new orders. be able oh, to deal with that. We can't win this. We're out of supplies, effectively. <laughs> we okay, have I'm going to pull these ground. guys back. We're moving. Here. This position Stand is ours. For orders. We need to hold this position. The brass wants this to yeah, be careful. Attention. Get moving. 
Okay. We're pulling back. We nope. have We hold here. We have new orders. Now. Well, this is certainly a fairly rough one <laughs> from the very start. Okay. Looks like we're late to the party. I joke. At least the machine gun nest has been dealt with. Établissez le barrage. Run! We're lost. Stand by for orders. The bomber there though is causing me a lot of headache, so let's Ready send the plane here. Yourselves. Move out. We're moving. To deal with it. Attention. Get moving. Scatter for combat. We have new we orders. Need to go. Spread out on the double now. Préparez-vous à recevoir les ordres de tir. Going to put a lot of pressure. We have new orders. Stand by for Pick orders. Your targets. Arms up, boys. Établissez les positions. Well, I would certainly say Let's I have there. lost over here. <laughs> Well, that's what you get when you jump on the highest difficulty of a game uh, like this, where the mechanics can certainly destroy you. So I think, um, I certainly think lacking in, like, con like just easy keybinds, right? One of the problems I do have here, uh, before I end this video, one of the problems is the lack of keybinds. So you really are in the position, because you want to obviously put our artillery pressure on, the enemies that are going to be a problem. I didn't manage to capture a point here. Um, but you do want to put pressure with artillery in order to be able to advance. But you can't do so because yeah, you're lacking keybinds to Ready be able to give those orders. orders. Maybe I'm just missing something over here. Let's take a look at controls. So game speed over here. Group. No. There is nothing that does that. Which I think... I, I get it, you can always pause and continue, but yeah, it, it's certainly a, a lesson I've learned here. You can't just play this in real time, just give orders in real time, it's gonna mess you up uh, severely. Anyway, Kostin here signing out, just a quick look at the Western Front. Looks really nice, feels pretty nice, but of course jumping about like this with like limited units can obviously create a lot of issues. Stay tuned for more, I do like it.